Hi Dr. Sandeep and Dr. Nisha, please let me know the symptoms, treatment and life expectancy of stage 3 lung cancer. Stage 3 cancers of lung are quite common because lung cancer gets diagnosed quite late during its course. It is a treatable disease. In fact, there is treatment and our attempt in all stage 3 lung cancers is to get a cure. Yes, there are problems because it is not as early as stage 1 and stage 2 cancer. Generally, patients will come with uh, symptoms related to their lung like cough, like coughing out blood, weight loss uh, quite a number of times or chest pain. And when we evaluate, initially we do a chest x-ray and then if based on what we find on chest x-ray, usually we opt to do a chest CT scan or any other investigations found appropriate. A diagnosis is reached with a biopsy. A biopsy can be done in two ways. One is by needle biopsy which is done from outside using a CT scan or an ultrasound scan or by what is called as bronchoscopy. Bronchoscopy is a method by which small camera is passed into the mouth and into the lungs and the airway is visualized and a biopsy is taken from the growth which is very closer to the airway. When the tumor is in the peripheral location, means it's easier to the chest wall or closer to the chest wall, we do a CT guided or CT scan guided or an ultrasound guided biopsy. Once the diagnosis is confirmed by a biopsy, we stage the disease. By staging, today what I mean is PET CT. So once that staging is done, we know that it is stage 3 disease. We base our treatment based on the biopsy result. There are many further tests which are done. Basically, lung cancer can be divided into two major groups, which is small cell carcinoma and non-small cell carcinoma. The non-small cell carcinoma are the ones which are more common and they are further grouped into the squamous cell and adenocarcinomas. Now each one of these cancers have different characteristics and they have their own different types of treatments which are advocated. So we tend to give or we give specific treatments for these types of cancer and try to shrink them with a treatment that is medical treatment what we call as chemotherapy or targeted therapy we shrink these diseases to a smaller size we get a good response to the treatment by uh, giving them chemotherapy and at the end of it we try to do a surgery why am i saying try to do there are a small segment of patients who tend to progress even with treatment so those ones who respond well whose diseases shrink and have a good response, we want we do surgery and we remove the disease. Yes, the surgery can be open, it can be laparoscopic or thoracoscopic or WATS, what we call as, or could be with the help of robo. You have also asked me about survival of these patients. Yes, stage 3 is not as good as stage 1 and 2. The survival in stage 3 at the end of 5 years could be around 30%. But 30% is also not a reason to lose hope because generally lung cancer is considered very aggressive. Stage 3 lung cancer is a locally advanced lung cancer wherein the lung cancer has spread to the adjoining structures or to the nearby lymph nodes. Stage 3 lung cancer also means that it has not spread to far away organs like bone or brain or liver. Survival rates of stage 3 lung cancers varies but all said and done, stage 3 cancers can be cured. As far as role of radiation therapy in stage 3 lung cancer is considered, there are two ways. The role of radiation therapy in stage 3 lung cancers is either as an adjuvant therapy or as a definitive chemo radiation therapy. So when I say the word adjuvant, it means that it is given as an adjunct to the main therapy which still happens to be surgery. Adjuvant therapy means that therapy that is administered after the definitive therapy that is surgery in this case. Whether to go for an adjuvant radiation or not depends upon several factors that is outside the scope of this series. But I would say it is usually discussed after the surgery 
as per the histopathology report in between the doctors that in a multidisciplinary tumor board as well as along with the patient and the family in adjuvant radiation therapy we deliver around 27 to 30 sittings of radiation therapy to the post operative volumes and the nodal volumes this might be followed by chemotherapy as well stress that adjuvant therapy is not needed by all the patients of stage 3 who undergoes surgery now radiation therapy has got a definitive role in the stage 3 or locally advanced lung cancer whereby we treat the patients by delivering 30 to 33 fractions of radiotherapy along with concurrent therapy that is delivered you know once in a week or once in three weeks along with the radiotherapy to offer the patient a complete cure in the absence of a surgery. Definitive chemo radiations are usually delivered to patients who are deemed inoperable in a multidisciplinary tumor board. Usually this kind of definitive chemo radiation is either preceded or followed by chemotherapies. Sometimes in special conditions like old age, we hypofractionate or we reduce the number of sittings by increasing the dose that is delivered per fraction. Such kind of treatments are usually delivered over 20 to 22 sittings. Definitive radiotherapy along with concurrent chemotherapy is very well tolerated with some side effects. It is done by using either image guided radiotherapies or volumetric arc radiotherapies and with or without the use of motion control techniques. Again, some of the acute side effects of this treatment is cough, breathlessness, chest pain, sometimes fatigue, nausea and vomiting or alterations in the blood counts. Your doctor will be seeing you at least once in a week or you know on SOS basis and will be addressing all these side effects. Usually these side effects are temporary and the patients recover in four to six weeks after the radiation therapy.